We're running a social sharing campaign and contest, and it's called Sound On. So we're using the hashtag Sound On Burl On, and that's basically to remind people to make sure their home smoke and CO alarms actually are turned on, that the sound is on, and that they work. Last year in the province of Ontario, we recorded 133 fire fatalities, the most in 20 years. And sadly, they could have been prevented with working smoke alarms. When platoon chief Vanderlilly attends a fire scene with no smoke alarms, he fears the worst. Thinking people are trapped, people didn't get out in time, and we're going to be into a body recovery situation. So that, those, those are the greatest fears that I have as a, as a firefighter when I was going in on places and we didn't hear activated smoke detectors. And now as a platoon chief, when I get on scene and my crews tell me there's no, we can't hear any smoke detectors, um, not only am I nervous for the people that are inside, but I'm also nervous for my crews. Um, the stress on the crews that they now, it escalates what we have to do on scene. Our search patterns change, our searches change within the building. Um, especially if there is nobody there to tell us that there's people that have gotten out of the house or that there's people trapped inside and where they are. Smoke alarms are required on every level of your home directly outside of the bedrooms. So the way to find out whether or not your home smoke or CO alarm is expired is just to check the side for a replace by date, an expiry date, or even flip it over and have a look at the back for a date of manufacture. 10 years from that date and it's no longer reliable in testing and, and sensing smoke or CO in your home. And those CO detectors are just as important to give warning of deadly carbon monoxide. Because it's odorless, it's tasteless, you can't see it. Uh, and people are dying. We're losing families because of these things. So the idea of the campaign is not just saving lives. If that's not incentive enough, we've also uh, created a whole list of prizes for people that they'd be able to win. So all you need to do is go online, visit the City of Burlington's Instagram page, and find our Sound On Burl On posts. And from there, you share it and you can win. But really, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is get that message out, get the word out. It's a win-win for everybody. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.